Welcome back. So today we're going to go over some of the basics of building an economy in Werewolf Transylvania. For building an economy in Werewolf Transylvania, you have a few different options. Some are more meta than others. I'll go through all of them and then specifically say which ones I think are the best. Starting off we have fishing. You can look up where the different fishers hunt in the game by typing dash fishing. And it shows you all of these locations. From them, you can buy a fishing pole and either bait, small or designer fishing bait. For creating an economy, it's probably better to get the small. For trying to go for an ability, it's better to get the large. But you simply go ahead and buy Hello it. There. You walk either into the water and you click on the fishing pole. Or if you want to be cheeky about it, you can fish right next to the water. This creates some interesting opportunities where you can potentially build a base up north here and block off part of the map for the werewolf to go through. And then likewise, down here, you can create a nice little base around this piece of water and potentially block off this part of the map for the werewolf to go through. Fishing is probably one of the best money makers in the game, right next to mining, and I use it in pretty much every other game I play. And then remember, you always want to have some bait on you. Always got to be a master baiter in this game. Helps you catch fish faster or progress towards your villager skills. As mentioned before, mining is an excellent way of making money in Werewolf Transylvania. It's actually called forging, so dash forging. And you have this top or north mine and the bottom south mine. All you do to mine Greetings, is friend. simply buy a mining pick from Welcome one of those two village. miners and then click on the rock with your right click. It's important to pay attention while you're mining. Sometimes your villager will be forced back towards the center of the map. All you have to do is just create a new command and right click on the rocks again. Also, while you're mining, you can't do anything else. So if somebody comes up and has daggers and is about to kill you, you do not want to click on a rock. That's pretty much all there is to mining. You either get iron ore or gold from these rocks that you mine, and you can go ahead and sell that for gold in the game. Another advantage of mining is by buying one of these malls from the miners and turning your iron ore into useful different upgrades. I typically only go towards the armor and sword upgrades, but there's also a sight increase and clockwork villager, which just spawns a copy of your villager that you can use to try to trick people with. Alright, so now we have farming. You can farm by creating a warehouse from your build screen. Job done. When you go ahead and purchase any of these crops, Welcome you go ahead village. and plant them. Job Job done. Done. Job done. Job done. Job they take done. a certain amount of time to grow. And then when your crops are done growing, you just go ahead and collect them and sell them for extra gold. From your warehouse, you also have the option to purchase sheep and pigs. You want to go ahead and put hold position on them, or they're just going to run around everywhere. Be careful, any time you right. ally or unally someone, that hold position command will go away. So you have to click on them again and click hold position. Welcome to our village. Over time, your sheep and pigs will gain mana. Once they hit the maximum amount of 225 for the sheep or 425 for the pig, you want to go ahead and cull them. You can cull them at any time, giving you a certain amount of gold, so however many mana they had, in this case 83, this one will be 88. And then you also just want to be careful that you do let this go up to an amount more than you bought it for. So sheep are purchased for 75, but only return 25 at the very beginning. Just wait for that to get to a certain amount you want. Usually I just let it go to the maximum, and you're good to go. Now we have hunting. You go to one of these two hunter's lodges, and you will purchase a bundle of spears, or a canopy tent, Welcome to from our which village. you can also purchase Job a bundle done. of spears. Once you immediately click on them, you'll be unallied with all of the animals around, and you'll th friend. start throwing spears at those animals. 
Once you kill the animal, you can go ahead and take the pelt and sell it for gold. There's a few different animals in the game that you can kill. You have rats, pigs, raccoons. Eventually you'll have bears, Our town is under siege. wolves, rabbits, and then packs of deer. A really useful way of increasing the amount of animals that you can kill is by purchasing this animal lure from either the canopy tent or the hunter's lodge. Welcome to our you village. simply left click on it to use it, and all of the animals in a certain area will come to your location. Greetings, friend. The next money making method is merchanting. You can merchant by creating a lighthouse in any of this water area except Job's the done. top of this waterfall. You simply go to your lighthouse, send out a ship, and it will return in a set amount of time with more gold than you sent it out for. If you want to increase the amount of gold you get from your ships, you simply go to your plantation and research trade route. You can then go back to your lighthouse, research silk sails, and that'll increase the profit you get from any of those ships that you send out. Another way of making money with merchanting is researching this port royalties. Research complete. Once your lighthouse gets to 100 mana, you'll get a set amount of gold. You can also buy rowboats, which will fish and return the fish back to the lighthouse and sell them for appropriate amount of gold. Finally, we have arguably the least leaseful way of making money in this game, and that's foraging. So a bunch of acorns will spawn around the castle in the middle of the map. You can go ahead and just click them up, and they sell for 50 gold each. There's not too too much to it, but if you have your dog around the area while you're killing animals, you can go ahead and pick them up, sell them to this village market, and it's another quick 50, 100 gold. So that's pretty much all there is to it. There's another few items around the game that you can collect and sell for gold, but those are more hidden treasures than actual items that spawn regularly. That's pretty much all there is to it. Creating an economy in this game is really simple, although combining multiple different ways of making money can be a little bit more difficult. So say you're in this top right mine, you want to mine the rocks and then purchase different seeds and sheep at the same time. Likewise, bottom left, say you want to fish, same deal. Combine farming and fishing and buy seeds while you're fishing and purchase sheep while you're fishing. This will exponentially increase the amount of money you generate in this game, making it easier to Hello create there. units later on to go ahead and kill the wolf or different villagers. I hope you enjoyed this brief economy tutorial. The best way to really learn this is just to go ahead and give it a try for yourself. The better you get at it, the better you'll be at the game. Stay tuned for my next set of videos where we'll go through the villager skills and creating an army to go ahead and hunt down the werewolf.